this is my finished look. I hope you guys like it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Comment below. Comment below. I don't have to show it because you probably know where to comment. It's like, it's not a new thing. And I'll see you guys later. So first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my primer. It's a Too Faced Never Primer. And I like to apply it with my finger. Just around my eyes and a little bit of my neck. And then I'm gonna apply foundation. I use Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm in shade 153. Now it's pretty dark, but I'm pretty tan, so that should be good. And I'm gonna apply with the Beauty Blender, and I just have it in my hand right here. And I'm just gonna kind of tap it on my face. I like using Beauty Blender because it blends the, the foundation better than a brush. It doesn't leave like any marks on your face or anything. It doesn't look as heavy as you would apply it with a brush. It still gives you a good coverage. It looks more natural. It doesn't look thick. And I blend a little bit down my neck. So there's like no harsh lines or anything. And it's a little bit darker, so... Just make sure you blend it well. So the next step what I'm gonna do is apply concealer. Before I do that, I like to use a hydrating cream by Bobbi Brown. So just, it's like, I use it as a eye primer, I guess. So the concealer doesn't crease. Because lately I like using thick concealers and sometimes they tend to crease and fine lines and I don't like that, I don't like that. And the concealer that I'm going to use is by Tarte. I'm in the shade Light Sand and I'll apply it with my Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna kind of make a, like a triangle under my eye. And I'm only applying it under the eyes. I'm not gonna apply it on my lid. I'm just gonna apply it under my eye. Also, I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin, just to highlight it on my upper lip, on top of my nose, just like this, and on my in the middle of my forehead. Just to highlight, you know, and I'm gonna blend this. And also, I like to use concealer by NARS. I'm a medium one, it's custard. And I'll just apply a little bit under my eye. And the next step is baking. Yeah. And for baking, I'm gonna use Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm gonna apply it with the Beauty Blender under the eyes. So it like sets the concealer so it like doesn't crease and it kind of highlights it too. Don't be afraid to put a thick layer. And I'm gonna apply it on top of my nose. Oop. Forehead. Right here. And a little bit more. Okay. And once we're done with this step, um, I'm just gonna leave it, I don't know, what, 15 minutes? 15 minutes, maybe longer, while I'm doing my makeup, it's gonna set in my face. Okay, so I did my eyebrows of the camera. If you want to see how I do my eyebrow, you can go back to my tutorial number two. 
and I'll explain to you how I do them. So next step, what I'm gonna do is prime my eye. I'm gonna use MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade, I don't know if I pronounced it right, Soft Ochre. Okay, and to prime my eyes, I'm gonna use MAC Brush 195. I like this primer because it gives a good coverage and it kind of helps eyeshadow to like pop up and be more bright as you can see. And I like to blend it with uh, my ring finger. Make sure you blend it good because if you're not going to blend it good, it kind of it's not going to look nice. Next step is I'm going to apply eyeshadow. So you have a Coco Blend palette. I use Cat Professionals, I bought it in Russia. I don't know where you can order it here, but you can use any flat brushes that looks like this. I like to use a big flat brush that like covers more space and saves time. So the first color that I'm gonna apply is uh, Bitter Start. It's a light color, I'm gonna use it as a base. And to blend the same color, I'm gonna use Morphe blending brush, it's a M505. I'm gonna just take a little bit, tap it, and just blend it in a kind of circular motions. Sometimes I go like highlight my eyebrow a little bit with the same shade. For my transition color, I'll use MAC 217 brush, and I'm gonna apply Substitute Love, and it will be my transition color. When I apply transition color, I like to look straight in the mirror, so I know where to apply. Because sometimes when you like close your eye and you're trying to apply it, and like you can apply it too low, and then when you open your eye, you can see. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take, try to find a clean brush, a big clean blending brush, and hope it's clean. I'm blended on top. So it looks like this. The next step, the next step is I'm gonna use MAC 267. And then I'm gonna use the shade Freshly Toad, Freshly Toasted. Kind of apply it in the V shape. blend it up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take this collar and kind of like blend it in my crease a little bit. Same brush, same color, very simple. With a smaller blending brush, I'm using more fit 507. I'm gonna go ahead and take Substitute Love, which is this color, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my Lower eyelid. And with the same brush, I'm gonna go ahead and take freshly toasted color and apply it on a like a half of my eye. And with a black color. With the same brush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it in the corner of my eyes. So kind of like a, making a V shape again, but a little smaller V shape. Then with this big work, I'm gonna apply it on the lower left, lower that brush. And with a bigger blending brush, it says they have a 227. And I'm just gonna apply freshly toasted one more time. And a corner of my eye. And it's kind of blended with like a black color. Just blend, blend, blend. So everything looks blended and nice. And I'll just uh, go back to Peter Stark. Apply it one more time. So it just looks brighter. Take the bigger blending brush and blend it a little bit. 
Okay. With a jumbo black pencil, I'll go ahead and uh, line up my lash line. It's a scary process, doesn't look unpleasant. But when you do this, it just you get more depth in your eyes and if you do an eyeliner on top, it makes it look thicker. For my eyeliner, I like to use Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And you're just uh, gonna go ahead and line, line the eye. I like to keep it thicker in a corner of my eye. and. I'll make it really thin, like here, just like this. So my favorite lashes is uh, Coco Lashes in Style 302. They're really similar to House of Lashes, iconic. They're just same thing, but cheaper. Okay, I applied my lashes off the camera and now the glow is uh, good and dry. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. First thing you wanna do is sweep this setting powder. And to contour my face, I'm gonna use Make It Forever bronzer and uh, shade. M30. I'm using my matte brush 110. This is my favorite contouring brush. I always use it. And I apply it with a really light motion. I don't press on the brush too much. So it doesn't give me a harsh line. And apply it on a temples. And my forehead. And a little bit down my face. And now I'm gonna go ahead and clean my nose with a flat angle brush. And I'm tip my nose. And the favorite part is highlight. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills, So Hollywood, Anastasia. Highlighter brush and um, put it on the top of my cheekbone, tip of my nose, upper lip, a little bit on the top of my nose, under the eyebrow. And with my ring finger, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the corner of my eye. Also, with a beige pencil, it's not white. I'm using the balm in the color Brian. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my waterline. Next step is I'm gonna apply mascara on the bottom of my lashes and a little bit on the top of my lashes to blend them in with the fake lashes. And I'm using Vivian Sabo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I got it in Russia. I don't even know if um, you can buy it in here. But I love this mascara. It's my favorite. And when I apply it on my lower lashes, I like to make pretty a thick layer so it looks like I have a lot of blood washes like we do and we're gonna go ahead and blend in false lashes oh, oh god I got in my eye oh. <laughs> to complete this look I will use Anastasia liquid lipstick in vintage 
to make it fit in the I love the roll. And I totally forgot to apply blush. For my blush, I'm using ColourPop in shade. I don't know if I pronounced it right. <laughs> it's a H O N I P. And my angle matte brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on the top of my cheeks. To set the makeup, I'm using Urban Decay Makeup Stand Spray. <laughs> oh! So this is my finished makeup look. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and if you don't follow my Instagram, it's uh, Lisa underscore Lash. And also I have Snapchat, it's uh, Lisa Lash. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.